Hello, and I'll be showing you today how to make a binary counter machine. So, binary, if you don't know, is zero is nothing, and one is one. And there's it's more complicated than that by a lot, but basically you just go up through binary digits, and it's multiple by two every time, one, two, four, eight, 16. So I'm going to give a brief showing binary. This is inverse. So if a torch is on, it's zero. And if it's off, it's one. So basically how binary goes is one is one. One zero because you have to go another place because you've run out of combinations is two. Then one one is three. Then one zero zero is four. So one. And this will definitely be inverse, so if you, th like, right now, it is one, zero, zero, zero. So that would be 16. So then, this is really simple. There's two designs. One's a simple design like this, and one uses a little bit of electronics, but it's still super simple. And I'll give a kind of deep detail on how to make it even though it's really easy so basically how this one works is when the enemy spawns well the first torch goes on and off every time you flip the lever and the second torch every two times and then every time that one turns it activates another dude, which once the second one turns twice, that one activates. So it's every other. So then I'll get an overview with wiring and without wiring. So basically, it's actuated. So then when it spawns, it's stuck. But then the next time, it lets the wall down again. So it hits the pressure plate. But then two will spawn, so there's a chance of it hitting pressure plate twice before the trap can kill it. So that's why you have a goblin statue above. But the statue can only activate every certain amount of time, so it keeps it from activating twice. Then when that one activates, the next dude with the same thing. So you just repeat that over and over again. Pretty simple. This is probably the m more simple design out of the other best others super complicated so then this is with the wire so you flick it once it directly activates that torch and then does all the actuator business which then goes up to the goblin and once the goblin dies it activates the torch and then activates the next dude over so you just copy that and you can do as many as you want until the amount of spawn statue enemies at a time reaches its limit. So you can do anything that's three blocks tall, like hoplite, statue, zombie, goblin, skeleton, all of those. There's a lot to choose from. So this will be your run through with the wire to show you an example. And you can, instead of making it long like I did, you can make it tall. There's really no, like, set thing to do. Like, if you just want a binary counter, then you just do this. If you don't want it to be inverse, you can turn off every torch before you start, and then it'll actually be correct and not inverse. So, if you want to do that, you can. But I just kept it inverse because... Activating the torches can activate the other wire, which can screw the whole thing up. So this is the next design. It incorporates just a tad bit of electronics, not too much, not like complicated or anything. And really, with electronics, you just memorize it and then you do that. So it goes in through a wall by hoiking, and then you activate a hoik by actuators, and then it makes the dude bounce around like three times before it triggers the thing and he dies. So that's why it activates another statue like the goblin statues above. So that way it'll only 
activate every once in a certain amount of time to keep from activating twice. So this is very much more complicated because all of this just does three digits. And I will um, tell you to beware because when you hit the last time, it will break. I think you can see the slime in the corner. I think that's why it broke, but as you can see the last time, it almost always breaks. So this is an even, this design, much more complicated, and it doesn't even work 100% of the time. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Smash that bell.